ADOS, proud sponsors of ADOS Addicted to Fishing. I'm Nikki Sinder, and since I could hold a handline, I have been addicted to fishing. Whether it's straylining for snapper, jigging for kingfish, dropping deep for harpooka, or jumping in and going spearfishing, I love it all. each week as I road trip around the country, travelling to both New Zealand's most iconic fishing destinations and stepping off the beaten track to show just how good Kiwi fishing really is. Whether it's a girls trip, fishing with a local or riding solo, I am on a constant quest to satisfy my insatiable fishing addiction. Welcome to ADOS Addicted to Fishing this week. We are on our brand new extreme boat, powered by Honda, it's a 750 Game King. And we are on a mission to get its first sort. I've got my mate Maddie here with me, I've got my mate Dave, and this is just a friend's trip today. But we've invited the cameras, and we thought we'd try our luck at a sword. One of the best things about our extreme boat and Honda motor is that we have the confidence to go far and wide. My mate, Captain Phil, has pointed us in the right direction of where the swords are on the bite, so we're off on a mission. Broadbill swordfish are known as gladiators of the ocean. They average around 100 kilos here in New Zealand, with a 200 kilo plus fish being regarded as a really good fish. And very rarely do you come face to face with one that is over that magical 300 kilo plus mark. Swords are estimated to reach maturity around five years old, and they live to be about 15 years old, making them a fast growing, short living species. Having a little sound around, and we came across a nice little patch that we think will hold swords, but we've never actually been here before, so it'll be interesting. It's the thing about fishing is always looking for new ground, you know? Playing all our music. It's here. There's a sacrificial weight. Um, we use these ones because they rust away and all sand has iron in it, so we're not really harming the ocean. So don't litter. So this is pretty much ready to go. I've just made sure the wire's tight and sort of sitting in against these little deformed ridges so it doesn't fall off when it starts pulling our bait down. And um, most people like to put a little four kilo breakaway on it. So um, once you reach the bottom, wrap your line and pop it off or wind really hard. Each will do the same job. Swordfish are among the fastest fish in our oceans, moving at speeds of up to 60 kilometres per hour when jumping. They also have the ability to swim up from 600 metres deep and breach the surface in less than 30 seconds. Today I'm using arrow squid for bait, which I got from my mates at Salty Dog, but in the past I've also caught swords on skipjack, kahawai and mullet. Fishing. Right, so we've just deployed our bait all the way down to the bottom. So exciting, you just don't know what you're going to get with, with fishing in general, but with this style of fishing, anything could happen. I'm just <laughs> very intently watching the tip of the rod because that's how you can tell if the sword bites. The rod tip will just have a very sort of yow, yow, and the line will go slack. And typical behaviour for these sorts of fish is that they just shoot up to the surface. They want to see what they're attached to, and then it's game on. Come on, sword. Last time we were here, last time on the show, last year when we were fishing for swords, we put our bait down, and I kid you not, within 10 seconds, we had a sword on. The whole thing was over in 25 minutes. It's been longer than 10 seconds now though, so we've not quite smashed that, but we got a bit of time. I love the way that everyone's watching one small thing, just a rod tip, waiting for that one little thing to happen with so much intent. 
just willing it. I don't even want to go to the bathroom. Like, I'm so focused. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to miss a day. It's so yeah. little. Because it's just such a small, insignificant bite. Yeah. You know, when you catch a marlin, it just screams, but... And you'd expect that a sword would be even more so, but... Nine times out of ten, it's like... I said it once and I'll say it again, it's like an elephant eating a peanut. That did look like a little tap. Mm -hmm. Probably going to make quite a boring show, sorry guys. We're just waiting. <laughs> There'll be action soon, I promise. If there's not, this won't go on TV, so... There'll be action. Yeah, slack. It's got slack. It's slack. Got a weight there? No, no, it's slack. I'm going to put the drag up. We're on strike. And just like that, on our second drop, we're on. Whew! Whew! Good. There's nowhere else I'd rather be. Just absolutely love catching swords. And to get one in my new extreme, feels like magic. Yeah, it's good. Woo! Oh, whoa, that's whoa, dead. Whoa, Look at whoa. that. The line's touching the foam. Oh. <laughs>Fishing with my mates Dave and Matt, and the three of us are on a mish to get my new boat its first swordfish. We're fishing out wide and 600 metres plus, and we're using an arrow squid for bait. Just before the break, we had hooked into a sword on our second drop. Let's hope this is the fish that we've come looking for. Yeah, slacks, it's got slack. Whew, good. There's nowhere else I'd rather be. Nikki's on a sword, we believe. Uh, we were all just sort of cruising. I was actually starting to nod off up front, and um, <laughs> Dave had his eagle eye on, watching the bait, and um, yeah, sword just came and picked it up. We think he's coming to the top, so I think it'll start we'll pulling. Find out in a minute. Yeah, Let's see if he's big and if he's angry. There's definitely weight there. Yeah. How many kilos do you have on strike? 16. Yeehaw. He's not pulling any line, unfortunately. I wish he was. It would be amazing. Still might. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Might be saying, I wish he stops pulling line. Yeah. This is the thing about the style of fishing is no need to panic. I used to panic when I first started catching swords, but we would lose them if you panic. I'm you want to get them in quick, but you also want to, you know, don't freak out. See how the line angle's going out there? That's a good sign. Yep. It means that he's up near the surface. I'm hoping that he'll pull some line. Yeah. Because if he does, it means he's a big one. Getting hot, you. Yeah, getting pretty warm. Yeah, oh, he's, he's changing angle now. So he's finally pulling a bit of string. Get some of the he's changing angle again, eh? Dog pipe. Come on, mate. You are mine. Notice how at the beginning of the fight he came up to see what he was attached to, and now he's dug down deep. And this is classic behaviour of swords. Now he's just peeling line, throwing a tantrum. Mind you, I'd be throwing attention too if there was a massive hook in my lip. So this is the point where he's taking line. Now, I'm not going to try and wind over it because I can't. And I'm just leaning back on him, putting the hurt on. Don't get me wrong, I may look like I'm not in pain. I am in pain, but I love it more than, it, than it's painful. Therefore, I, I actually love it, if that makes sense. We're all the way up on sun, sunset. Are we? Yep. 
we're off on sunset. <laughs> well, what did we work out now on sunset? It was 20. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. We're starting to lift them, are we? Still heaps of weight there. Can't get a wine yet. <laughs> this is awesome. This is what we came for. How are you going, Nikki? Yeah, guys. Awesome. <gasps> Nikki's starting to gain back a little bit of line now. The swordfish came up to the top briefly at the beginning of the fight. It's pretty standard behaviour, but this one's decided to go back down. Um, so now we're all sort of just communicating, trying to keep this fish with a bit of angle to encourage him to come up with any pressure we're putting on him. Um, when he does come up and gets a bit closer, we'll then try and establish if we get a visual on where that hook's placed and how well he is hooked. So if he's hooked in the corner of the mouth, we'll try to sneak up to him, keeping the boat behind the fish to keep that hook pointing into the corner of the mouth. And um, if we get close enough to get a, a leader shot, I'll get a couple wraps on him with my gloves on. And uh, Nikki can make a call whether she wants to keep it or tag it. And uh, if things get a bit hectic or a bit messy, um, I can always bail out. I keep a safety knife in my pocket at all times, just so safety I can cut first. that line. Yeah, safety never takes a day off. One of the benefits of using a Talica 50 is that you've got the low gear, also known as granny gear. So we can always switch over to that. If we're finding that the pressure's too much in the high gear. Because what you don't want is for it to just go stalemate and no one's doing anything that's the worst possible outcome. Yeah. He's just recharging his batteries. Yeah, so meanwhile I'm trying to take a wine, but the pressure's too great. May look like I'm having a break, but I'm not. There we go, a little bit. Inch by inch, you know? Or well, less than that, millimetre by millimetre. Yeah. Still winning if it's coming on the, on the rear, eh? Exactly. Okay, so we've got a whale over here, and I'm really hoping that he doesn't obstruct the line. But he's sort of coming to. Oh my gosh, he's coming towards us. Towards the boat. Whale. Please don't go on our line. Uh oh. He's coming straight on. Head on. Tackle tips and tactics. Brought to you by Smart Marine. Right, so let's have a quick chat about the new IGFA International Angling Rules, which have come into play on the 1st of April 2017. Now, the new rule states that the catch shall be classified under the breaking strength of the first 16.5 feet or five meters of the line directly preceding the double, the leader or the hook. Now, this is fantastic news because up until now, we've always been governed under the heaviest part we've set up. But now, if you've, say, got 37 kilo top shot on a backing of 130 pound hollow ace, not a problem. You're gonna be able to classify your catch under the 37 kilo. Show it IGFA. For all your fishing needs, head on down to your local Smart Marine store. Ready, ready to grab that leader? Yeah. There he is. Oh! Whoa, it's a big one. He's a huge sword. This week, we're out far and wide targeting swordfish. We've dropped down a bait and now I'm hooked up to what we think is a monster. We've just had a whale come over and charge the boat twice. Uh-oh. Going straight on, head on. He's but he's pulling. sort of coming to, oh my gosh, he's coming towards us. Towards the boat. Right, the whale's cruised off. We don't have a, a whale of a problem anymore. No. But we're getting some wine back. Yeah. Which cool. is great. That's good. And the line angle's coming up too, eh? Come on up, Sorty. It's the first sword for the new extreme. That's amazing. This boat has been so good to us so far. Yeah. We've only done a handful of trips, and already we've got two 20-pound snappers, a marlin, and hopefully by the end of today, we can say that it's also got a sword. There he is. Oh! oh it's a huge sword. That was amazing. That's a good jump, eh? Hey? He's not a small fish either. Yeah. Big. Okay. Okay, and he's just here. Can you see the bill on him? 
years. That was awesome. Left, to your left. Your left, bro. Cool. Good work. That was an epic jump. That was, diff that was a different one, eh? He was like, straight out. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah. Love sword fishing. Okay, he's taking line. He's going to come up again. <laughs> this is awesome. He's running like it ain't no thing. I'm just, just realising, eh? Whoa. Whoa. He takes very big fish. Holy. There's the splice. There's the top shot. This could be our shot, guys. 100 metres. Turn in. I can see him. Yep. Here. Yep. He's just here. There he is. He looks tired, too. He does look tired. This is good. Holy. He is a monster. Are you going to get the gaff out? Yeah. Okay, take the boat out of gear. Yep. Boat's out of gear. Okay, that's a biggie. Thanks, guys. That was amazing. <laughs> that was so cool. That's a pretty good first sword for the boat. For the boat. Yeah. I love having this problem. This is like the best problem in the world. Well, it might be best, guys, if we can get rid of this. Look it around there. Okay. Quick drink. See that swell? Use it. Gosh. We really need to get that pectoral fin up and then it will be an easy slide, I reckon. Okay, so I'm going to get in the water from behind and try and help push in turn because what's happened is the two pectoral fins are stopping us from pulling them in. So I'm going to jump in. I'm going to take my mic off. that this would definitely be my biggest sword I've ever caught and probably the best fight so far. I hope you've enjoyed Ados Fishing. I know I have. Boys, come on in. Come on. Thank you to my guys, my team. This is what teamwork looks like. <laughs> and we're absolutely stoked. Yeah. So thanks from all of us and we'll see you again next week on Ados Addicted to Fishing. You! <laughs>
And that's looking really good. We want it to be a little bit firm, that's why we've chilled it down and we also want to stop the cooking process of the fish. So now for the fun part. Grab your sharpest knife, okay? I'm very lucky to have one of these beautiful Japanese sashimi knives, but you can use any kind of knife that you have at home that is super sharp. And we're gonna really thinly slice it. So they're beautifully sliced nice and thin. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our Cully's Chipotle sauce, and we're gonna mix it with a little bit of Greek yogurt. Cully's Chipotle sauce is so versatile. Okay, so that's looking really good. Do a layer down the middle of our sauce. So I've just fried some red onion here and I'm just gonna garnish it. Red onion goes beautifully with carpaccio. You can also do fried shallots. All right, and now it's time to eat. Mm. For all your engineering needs, head in store or order online at www.tradezone.co.nz. Check out our YouTube and Facebook page for complete episodes, competitions, and all your fishing updates. ADOS Addicted to Fishing is proud to be with Extreme Boats powered by Honda Marine. And we tow it around with our Ford Ranger. Smart Marine supply us with our Shimano Tackle, and we find the best fishing spots with our Furuno. We cook our catch thanks to barbecues and more, and clean up using Bosch hot water products supplied by our local Chester's Plumbing Store. We keep up to date with New Zealand Fishing News Magazine and it all sticks together thanks to ADOS.